white way where the white is gray and the great is only okay. And the stars we toast give themselves a roast. Forbid in Broadway, hear an operetta degraded, hear a Roger standard revamped, see the Burton's love life invaded. Here months are berated, updated, and camped. So if you dare cross your heart and swear that these songs won't leave this cafe, it's just bubble gum all directly from. Got 
in Fiddler on the Roof. An actor from New York. <laughs> Sounds crazy, no? But in our little village of Manhattan, there are over 50,000 actors all trying their best not to end up in Baltimore. <laughs> it isn't easy. You may ask, why do we stay in show business if it's so competitive? That I can tell you in one word. Ambition, 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 ambition. When I was ten, I saw a show on TV, saw a show on TV starring Gary Moore. I wrote him and asked to put me on his show, but he said, go ask Dinah Shore. And when I was a child, nobody looked my way until I got the lead in my high school senior play. And when, when I, I was ten, was a I saw child, a show on TV, saw a show on TV starring way, Gary Moore. I until wrote him I got the to put me on his show, I'm trying to the dinosaur show. Attention! Attention! Ambition! Attention! Attention! Ambition! 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 Without our ambitions, our lives will be as crazy as... as... as an actor from New York! An actor like Miss Carol Channing! I've hosted awards and I've sold kitty litter, but Johnny is a girl's best friend. I've done several flops, but you can't call me bitter, though my whole career is messy as my lipstick smear. Love boats nights, I've done that twice, but talk shows I don't recommend. But why should I grieve? I can play Jolly Levi. Jolly is a girl's best friend, so who needs Sondheim? Jolly is a girl's best friend. Mr. Rex Harrison. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Now that I'm through with my fair lady, I'd like to do a little something different for you. Something from one of my movies. Cleopatra, all of Rome is yours if you'll only say the rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. No, no, no. Damn, 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 damn. I've grown accustomed to this show. <laughs> It's the only role I know. <laughs> I've grown accustomed to the hat that hides my balding head. I'll play this role until I'm dead. I've grown accustomed to the way. I've grown accustomed to the pay. Although I used to be an actor with a rangy repertoire, I have to pay the loan off on my fancy foreign car. <laughs> so once more before I go, you'll simply have to grow accustomed to this show.
friend. I sing while my legs pirouette and my feet move as fast as a jet and my hair is as big as a set. I'm entertainment. When I was a girl back at old MGM, they offered me roles sort of like Auntie M. I guess I really show them when I killed L.B. Mayer by hitting him with my hair. And now I'm a star on my own every night. I'm a show all alone, though my smile is constructed of stone. Why should I lie when I say that I am entertainment? And below the belt, repartee. Hope you all hit first. But we've got to run. Or should we say run away? But we're sure to meet on that zany street. Forbidden Broadway, Gerald Alessandrini. As Tevia, Chloe Webb as Carol Channing, Bill Carmichael as Rex Harrison, G. Hody as Ann Miller, and Fred Barton's on the piano. Dynamite. Look. God, I want to see it. I want to see it. How many tickets can I buy? God, I want to see it. I want to see it. If I miss baby, I will die. Look at all those hit shows. At all those hit shows. There's on your toes a chorus line and there's a line in front of nine. Oh God, I'm running out of... I want to see a star, a famous Broadway star. Is that a Broadway star? <laughs> Tickets for La Caja Fall. There are no tickets for the rumors that you've heard are all true. That it's sold out through July 92. God, I want to see it. I want to see it. Oh, no, I'm running out of cash. God, I want to see it. I want to see it. Ooh, I hear the dream girls is a smash. Little shows, little shows are cheaper, little shows, little shows are cheaper. I don't want to see those. I like the big shows. I want to see most every play and tell the folks back in PA I went to seven shows a day. Cats? No. Zorba? No. 42nd Street? No. My one and only? Uh -huh. Forbidden. Is Marilyn Pasikoff as one of Argentina's most beloved patrons. Has any here seen Patty. She was supposed to have been immortal. That's all they wanted. Not much to ask for. It had to happen. The show had to close. And so many girls this part but as for myself a year was enough and when they fill me vita oh i will certainly keep myself free though the chances are likely to be they won't want to film it with me You. You'll do the movie, and what a bummer when you sing Ava like Donna Summer. How would you have liked it in 68 if they had filmed Funny Girl without you? And MGM bought the film rights, and they'd wanted a star with no wrote to the role and cast Doris Day, you would have gone crazy and cried. But me, I'll just snicker and say, don't cry for me, Barbara Streisand. The truth is you bought the film rights. You'll do the movie and I'll go mental. When you see 
sing Ava like you sing Yento. Have I said too much? And you're too big a star to be lectured. But all you have to do is look in a mirror to know that every word is true. sorrow till I do tomorrow tomorrow is my favorite show tune I sing it three times a day tomorrow tomorrow is my favorite show tune I sing it exactly 1560 times a year The show was the same, so what was our big mistake? Were the tickets overpriced? Was the public out of touch? Was our TV ad too rough? Did it run enough? Did it run too much? At the moment when I need did my public turn away? Would we still be playing now if the show had run past Labor Day? Was my voice a little hoarse? Was Frank Rich a little mean? Did Lacage steal all our fire and their Queenie choir upstage and Francine? And there must have been a million bucks the producers threw away. Would they recoup one or two if the show had run past Labor Day? Should I blame the bad publicity or just our lease expiring? What a shame. This is the last time I'll play Mame before. bigger star or an old comedian should I have walked out on it all and let Lucille Ball wreck the show again though I'll ask myself my whole life long what went wrong along the way I won't make the same mistakes if they bring back Sweeney Todd someday From December to December. Before you drift to sleep upon your cot, lean back on all the tales that you remember of. I know what the people are thinking tonight as out by the fountain they wander. Everyone gossips in secret delight as they stare at their tickets and ponder. Should they get a refund today? 
Noel Burton, go on with the play. I wonder what the king is drinking tonight. What merriment are his goblets clinking tonight? The candles in his eyes have never been as bright. I wonder what the king is slipping tonight. And oh, the speculation of the king's odd inclination to sing out a syncopation when he's spruced. Well, I'll tell you what the king is drinking tonight. Just juice. Just juice. That a man who starred in Equus buys all his wife's a diamond necklace, stays off the sauce when he is in distress. Yes. You mean that a man who's alcoholic, married a lot, and loves to frolic, vomit his lines because he had to pee. We. Oui. You mean the appalling hiccuping are only the actors bickering over whether or not there's bourbon in the breeze. Please. You wonder what the king is praying tonight. He's praying to know what show he's playing tonight. What occupies his time until the curtain's up? He's pouring in the grain and draining the cup. And he opens and mumbles as he totters on and stumbles. In Excalibur he fumbles to the floor. Well, I tell you what the king is drinking tonight. No more than cheer with gin and beer. And that's what the king is drinking Tonight! <laughs> Miss Bernadette Peters, the new Broadway star. Yeah, but I've been around for a while. Yeah. I'm Bernadette Peters, the slightly bizarre, since I dropped my brassiere and my style. Hey, miss, what's this? Song and dance is my big new hit, and the scenery's great. Come watch me chew it. I was sweet little cutie, you used to call fruity, but now I'm a star, look what happened to Peters, frizzed my hair and glossed my ruby lips and bought tight clothes to choke my booby hips, a glamorous goddess who's bust in her bodice, hey Liza and Beth, look what happened to Peters, not Bob Sond, I'm at those Jerry Herman songs, so smart and meticulous, I prefer to jump Until I'm ridiculous Who's that punk and weirdo creature With a pound of rouge on every feature It's the kid caboodle An alien poodle So rattle my brain Look what happened to Peter I do the first act so you can leave it into mission Girls today can't make a living in the biz With a stylish or classy look Only way to make the pop like you is to put on a trashy look song and dance has turned the tables now it's no more days or max and maples and who's the big cheesy If you 
are wondering why I'm rolling on skates and singing rock songs to a bass line that grates. I can't stop. I go a little deaf every night. It's blaring rock. It's blaring rock from starlight excess. That's all we have to say on starlight excess. years old tomorrow and I haven't worked since I played Annie when I was ten tomorrow tomorrow revive me tomorrow before I'm a dinosaur the sequel the sequel please write me a sequel like my Off, you'll only scoff 
can do or die. I'm not James Cagney, and I'm not Joel Gray. I am the actual guy. I'm doodling my time away in Yankee Doodle heaven, but I have come back just to say, give my regrets to Broadway. But still, I'm sure it will survive. Ask all the kids in 42nd Street to them, it's still alive. We heard from Jerry Herman, he's working on a catchy song. Thanksgiving. Hey, the first part.